Hi, my name is Bill, and on a typical Saturday morning, you pull your lawnmower out of the garage, and you go to start it, and what is the most typical thing to happen? The rope breaks. The reason the rope breaks is because you pull and pull and pull because it doesn't start. Today, I'm going to show you how, with a few simple tools, to repair that rope so you don't have to spend a lot of money on repairs. Okay, well the first thing we have to do is get a few simple tools out. Okay, first thing we're going to do is remove the outer cover. A lot of them are made of plastic, in this case it's made of metal. I've already removed my five retaining screws. Remove the dipstick and slide the cover off. Set it aside. You'll notice that I'm just using a few basic tools out of a socket set. I've removed my retaining screw to hold the throttle cable in and I've removed my dipstick and retaining bolts down. I'm going to remove the housing and that gives us access to replace the rope. Now I want to put in a new rope. First thing we want to do is we want to wind it counterclockwise. Always wind it counterclockwise. Wind it all the way till it gets to the end. And then we come back and you'll see there's a little hole in here that we're going to bring our rope through and lock it, lock it in. So I'll put my new rope through it. Okay, so I've wound my, spr my spring all the way counterclockwise. That's going the opposite direction. Wound it all the way tight and then brought it back so the hole lines up with the outer hole where the rope comes out. I'm going to take my rope, put it in the hole, and thread it out the other side. Once I've pulled it out, I want to get it all the way to the end and just tie a simple overhand knot. Pull it tight, retract the rope. Now I'm ready for reassembly. I'm going to thread the, whole, the rope. Some, are, some handles are right on the engine. Some of them are up on the handle. In this case, it's up here. So I'm going to thread it through the hole, then thread it into the handle so I have something to pull on. Pull it a little bit so it's tight. And again, I'm just going to tie an overhand knot There we go, and I'll snip off the extra. And that's it, it's just a matter of reassembly. Put the bolts back in, make sure the cover goes on, the dipstick is, is okay, and you've just saved yourself a ton of money. And that's how you fix a pull cord on a lawnmower on a Saturday when the repair shops are closed.